Hi everyone! This is me, Teacher Angel, and welcome back to my channel, Math in You. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that all notification bell so that you will be updated to my new videos. Alright, are you ready? Great! So let's start! Today's session is about understanding unit fractions. These are the learning targets. First, reads and writes unit fractions and visualizes, represents, and identifies unit fractions with denominators of 10 and below. Okay, so let's have a drill first. Let's write the following fractions in words. I will show you the fractions. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay, so try to read the fractions and then write it in words. Okay, for number one, how do we write that? Yes, it's one eighth. We say one eighth, and that's how we write one eighth. Number two, very good, it's three fifths. Correct. Number three, yes, it's one tenth. And number four, Correct, it's four sevenths. And number five, yes, it's two nines. Great job. Okay, let us recall our lesson last time. What is fraction? Okay, yes, fraction is a part of a whole or a set. And then we have parts of a fraction, right? Do you remember them? Okay, so we have this fraction. It's one-fifth. So one is the numerator. And then five is the denominator. And then the line between one and five is what we call the fraction bar. Okay, now let us define numerator. So let's say we have five students. Okay, and then one of these students is a boy. So one as a numerator the number of boys okay that means it tells us the number of parts taken from the whole or the number of boys from the total number of students which is five and that is a denominator right five that's a denominator tells us the total number of parts in the whole or the number of students okay so let's have a problem of the day Cheska has eight skirts one of these is red what is the fraction of the red skirt would you like to guess now? Alright, so in this story, which should be the numerator and which should be the denominator? So you should think about that and then why? Correct, so the numerator should be 1 and then the denominator is 8, so it's 1 eighth. Why? So in the problem of the day, we made 1 as the numerator because that is the part we are considering or we are taking. And our denominator is 8 because that is the total number of skirts. Okay, now let's identify or name the fraction of the shaded part. Let's start with the first one. The square. What's the fraction? Very good. It's 1 half next in the middle. Correct. 1 third and then the last one. The triangles. Yes, it's 1 fourth. Okay, all right. Now, let's go back to these fractions. One half, one third, one fourth. Look at the fractions below. What do you notice? What do you notice? Yes, the numerators are one. So, we say that these fractions are unit fractions. Unit fraction is a fraction whose numerator is one and the denominator is any whole number okay so can you give another example yes one fifth is a unit fraction one sixth yes one seventh yes so long as the numerator is one and the denominator is hand any whole number okay all right let's practice i want you to write okay or identify the fraction of the colored Okay, colored part of the picture. Okay, ready? Go! 
Alright, so let's check if your answers are correct. Okay, number one. Yes, it's one-fourth. Okay, the colored part is one-fourth. Okay, next, number two. Yes, it's one-half. Okay, one-half, one out of two, right? There are two parts in all and one is shaded or colored. Number three. Correct, it's one-third. And number four, correct, it's one-sixth. And number five, correct, it's one-ninth. So children, remember this. These fractions are what we call unit fractions. The numerator is one and the denominator is any whole number. Okay, so we call these unit fractions. Alright, so let's try to solve this problem. Mrs. Kramer made 18 cobblers for the church. Bake sale. One of these is cherry cobblers. What is the fraction of the cherry cobblers? So you think first, which one is the numerator? Which one is the denominator? Okay, very good. It's 1 18th because there are 18 cobblers in all. That's the denominator and then 1. There is one cherry cobbler. Okay, very good. Number two, Tim has 20 books about animals. One of these is about cats. What fraction of Tim's books is about cats? Alright. Okay. Great. It's 120F. Okay, there are 20 books. That's the denominator. And then one of these is about cats, so it's 120 yen. Yay! Thank you so much, children. Thank you for cooperating. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Oops, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click that all notification bell so that you will be updated when I upload my new videos. Okay? Alright, so that's it. Goodbye and God bless you. Oh.